After four days of grueling detailed testimony, the jury for the inquest into the shooting death of 26-year-old Chantel Moore have ruled her manner of death as a homicide. The ruling drew cries and gasps from the family, most notably Moore's mother, Martha Martin. To sit in here and hear every detail on the death of your child is something you will never, ever wish on anybody else. If we can take those recommendations and we can move forward with them, then we're going in the right direction because having these inquiries are senseless. Earlier in the day, Chris Butler, who is a use of force and police training expert, testified that Constable Jeremy's son was following police training when he fired the shots that killed Moore on June 4th, 2020. The jury used Butler's own recommendations as a guide for their own. It agreed with Butler's training recommendation for first aid, combat casualty care, crisis intervention and de-escalation training, scenario training and awareness training. They recommended several policies be revised, including policies for first aid, procedures pertaining to serious injury or death, policing reporting and maintaining equipment, and police mandating use of force equipment. The jury also agreed with Butler's recommendation for best practices. It also independently recommended that police officers be tested for their competency and understanding of any policy or any policy changes. It further recommended cultural sensitivity training and having a First Nation liaison. Lastly, the jury recommended there be an independent body or agency to oversee cases of police use of force with a clear set of rules for all police agencies in the province. Said, Coroner Emily like, Casey. Uh, if there's anything I can do, at least if I could have uh, brought, brought the family some answers that they were looking for, then the inquest was, uh, was successful. The recommendations will be forwarded to the appropriate bodies with six months to respond. Natalie Sturgeon, Global News, Fredericton.